A man arrives at his home after a long day of work, like all other days. A comfortable home with all modern day amenities. A nice car in the garage. A gorgeous woman waiting for him. A baby on the way. A common life that is everything the average 1960 citizen could dream of. But in 10 seconds, his world will be turned upside down and his once comfortable life will be forever changed. Or will it? Hello everyone, welcome to Argentum Form. This is a free game created as part of a Ludum Dare, or Ludum Dare, or however it's pronounced, I'm not exactly sure. And it looks very good, I've heard very good things about it. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, Otis Game Studio presents Argentum Form, produced by Blackouts. Argentum, an obsolete name for silver. High conductivity metal used in a great variety of electronics, too. Considered a mystical and purifier element. Three holds philosophical trace of a feminine person. Okay, it's gone. Finally, our favorite show is about to start. I believe the theme for the Ludum Dare was 10 seconds. Hence why you see this. Because it had to be tied into the game in some form, I believe. Honey, where did you go? And there we go. Where did she go? I don't know, let's find out. I have to say, just based on this first scene here, I really, really, really like the atmosphere that this game creates. The sound of the rain and the thunderstorm pounding outside. The creepy glow of the TV in the center of the room, everything else dark, claustrophobic. The grain and the, like, the film scratches and all of that all over the screen. Just in the first 10 seconds, this game is making one hell of an impression. Seriously atmospheric. Okay, so yeah, you can move, of course. You can interact with stuff using space. Um, and you can also flip around. It's got a pretty cool gameplay mechanic. You can flip the view and use that to go to different places. Yeah. Very, very cool. So, I guess to begin with, let's go here. God, look at this. Is, this is so cool. This game is really, really good looking. It, just, it looks so damn good. It's very creepy, claustrophobic, and atmospheric, and just weird in such an interesting way. Okay, where should I go first? Well, let's go to the left, I guess. Oh, apparently that's upstairs. Oh my god. Okay, let, let's not go upstairs. Let's stay down here. I'm so gonna lose track of where I just came from. This is where I just was, right? Yeah. It is. That or it's a room that is identical to it. Okay, let's go here. I believe the glowing red objects hold hints to what happened to your wife. Whoa. Whoa, th these flowers are wilting. It'll make a surprise. Uh, I'll make a surprise and buy fresh ones tomorrow. That sound is not comforting. What just happened? Oh, God. Wow. That is really creepy. What's happening? I'm going to leave now. Jesus. Okay, let's go back in there. Wow. I'm still going to get lost really quickly. Alright, that leads back here. Let's go over here. Oh, here we go. I've been eating a lot more cookies since she started this new diet. And now I'm back here. The car. The garage. 
Three. I love this car, but we'll need a bigger one when the baby arrives. The basement. It's a kitty cat. We adopted the cat that used to live in that abandoned house down, down street. It was her idea. That static and that and that noise and the black and white look when you look at objects like that is really, really disconcerting. Whoops. Yeah, this is gonna get confusing really fast. Really, really fast. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, that's another object. The door is locked and I have the keys. She couldn't have left. Okay, so she has to be here. I mean, look at the, look at the attention to detail. There's even like a color shift at the side of the screen. I don't know if you can notice it, but there is. Even at the top and bottom of the screen, there's like a color shift. You've got a color shift, you've got grain all over the screen, and dust and scratches. I love it. Here we go, where is this? Looks like a study, an office. Six. She is beautiful, but hates to appear in pictures, even when I insist. Can I go up? Yes, I can. Oh, into the attic. That's comforting. Oh, look, there's a mannequin in the background. Wonderful. I love mannequins. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh yeah! What? This music box belonged to my mom. She always cried when I talked about my marriage. This is creepy as shit. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye. I'm in an attic with a music box that's playing, a music box that's playing, and a mannequin. Yeah. I like the '60s wallpaper. Eight. The tap is kind of stuck. She never turns it all the way. Nine. It seems she sent her clothes to the laundry again. Think, is there a door over here? Yeah, there is. Okay. Oh. This is the baby's room. Ten. We decided the baby will be called Damien if a boy. Carol if a girl. Wait, why is it still red? It's weird. Whoa. And why is it still going all crazy even though I left the room? Okay, I am totally lost now. the hell am I?
Okay, here we go. Here's a new place. I, no, no, never mind. And this goes... Back here. I can't even see myself. Where am I? Oh god, I think I bugged the game. Oh no, I- wait, oh wait, no, no, there I am, there I am. Alright, already been here, already been here. What am I missing? Given the maze-like construction of the home, I'm definitely missing something. Well, the carriage isn't red anymore. Hmm. Alright, let's go back here. I've already been up. God, I'm getting lost again. I think this is where I came from? Yes, okay. Oh, whoa. This is red now. This is where I started. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Oh, God, what? What is this counting down to? One. <laughs> and that's the end. Ah, there you are, honey. In your usual place. song doesn't sound like it's doing too well. Doesn't sound like it's being played at the proper speed. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was strange. I'm not sure what to make of that. As far as what actually happened, I have no idea. But I will say that I am really freaking impressed with this game. It just, it... It was so well done. The ambience, the atmosphere, the creepiness was just brilliantly done. It's really good looking. Wonderful attention to detail. I love all the distorted effects and stuff, like the, the film grain and the scratches and the color shift and distortion at the edges of the screen. Brilliant lighting. Wonderful sound, too. The, the constant pounding thunder and rain outside. Creepy use of sound when you look at the, when you look at the clues and everything goes all weird. That's just, that was really good. And it was free of all the, you know, cheesy jump scares and anything like that. It was just a downright creepy and well executed. And to think all that was done in... I don't know, how long do you have for a for a Ludum Dare? Isn't it like a couple days or something? I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but it's a very short amount of time. So, yeah. For, for pulling it off in such a short amount of time, it's amazing. And even if it wasn't pulled off in a short amount of time, I would still say that was a really good game. Damn, damn, good. I'm impressed. Okay, well, I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of Argentum Form. I certainly did.